Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and um, you know I've been talking about satellites and how you can track so the, of course this is a higher end receiver but once again same rules and same uh, thing applies to a, a regular scanner radio. Uh, here I have the chance of being able to change the steps in this receiver so that they are right now at one kilohertz uh, when I actually scan but it's um, very simple to receive satellites uh, to an extent that I'm using the included telescopic with this one and if you have a rubber decky antenna on your scanner it's more than enough you know I posted a couple of videos with those lists and I actually printed the list because I thought that it would be fun to do some detective work a little bit see if I can hear unusual satellites but one thing that I've noticed is that Almost every time if I scan those ranges, the 137, 138 megahertz range, um, pretty much, you know, more than 10, 15, 20 minutes, it's obvious that between 136 and 138, I am getting some signals from time to time. So, for example, here it's just stopped on what is possibly an Orbcon satellite, the first one. The other one is a birdie that's from some kind of device around me. But as I've been scanning for the past half hour at least, uh, I've got two Orbcon satellites. I've heard some weird signal that I don't know what it is that seems to be like a satellite. But it's obvious that scanning from 136 to... I didn't set the limits by the way here, so that's why I'm manually up going up and down. But uh, scanning these ranges will actually give you some interesting listening and I think it's worth it to really take the time to do some little detective work especially if you know you're fascinated with space and space signals I think it's a, a cool thing to do and like I said you know no fancy nothing really fancy I mean just the radio and the telescopic I've been able to pick up some signals as long as you're outside you notice I'm this is my barbecue I'm outside because just at the telescopic it's better to go outside to receive uh, satellite signals they tend to be stronger inside I did receive an orbcom inside but um, you know the signal is not as strong because of the uh, environment so I, I really want to encourage everybody to uh, and tell everybody to do scan the bands and and between 136 138 and check it out um, you'd be surprised and look at the list of frequencies that I posted uh, they might actually help you also identify maybe what you could be listening on those ranges and I'm actually having fun today with this so hopefully you're having fun too and hope you enjoy more videos coming up with satellite tracking and what satellites we can actually listen to and some frequency uh, frequencies for some of them once again uh, simple rule I mean I told you that so here's something this possibly is a an Orbcom satellite it's not impossible so tra to identify what you're listening to basically the uh, trick here is to really um, make sure that what you are listening to isn't a local interference signal because that could happen for example on 137 700 I've got one uh, usually satellites won't last more than maybe you know anywhere from 5 to 15 20 minutes at good max then if it sounds like a digital hash for example this is possibly an ARBCOM right now I um, actually recognize by ear the digital signal that an ARBCOM is sending so this is an ARBCOM as you see here just scanning around with the telescopic the uh, scanner has received so if I would look at my tracking software I probably would see that there's an Orbcom satellite passing overhead so you know it's kind of cool and it's part of the fun you'll hear a lot of common satellites but this is also an Orbcom possibly the same Orbcom that has two frequencies active just by the type of signal I know it is an Orbcom satellite that I'm listening to right now so nothing fancy, you know, even a realistic Radio Shack Uniden basic scanner will make you listen to this easily. So have fun and try it out. And if the signal is only 5, 10, 15 minutes, fades away, 
comes back an hour and a half later, uh, chances are pretty good you heard a satellite. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.